Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 2017 Sedona International Film Festival. I'm Tanya June Moore, here live at the Sedona Rouge, and we're with the, the short film creators of The Visit. Please introduce yourselves. Um, well, I'm Romina Schwedler, and I am the writer, director, and producer of The Visit. And My name is Alan J. Carmona. I'm the producer and cinematographer, or so, VP for The Visit. So tell us a little about the short film. I have not had the honor of seeing it yet, but I would like to. Tell us about it. Um, well, The Visit is um, the story of a family that's basically torn apart by a very unfortunate chain of events. And the film uh, focuses on a conversation between a man and his aging mother uh, that takes place at um, the visiting area of a public hospital. And um, where, I don't want to give too much away, okay. but uh, he's basically, he has no choice but to face uh, at last uh, something that's um, uh, a very disturbing truth. Um, in connection with his past, very, um, yeah. Okay. She doesn't want to give too much away. <laughs> why it sounds like. And so, <laughs> just a very unsettling, <laughs> a very unsettling truth for the for, for for the whole family. Wow. And how was it? I mean, did you film this on location? We actually, yes, we shot in location, uh, primarily in New York, and uh, Staten Island, New York. Um, the Forgotten Borough, some people will say, mm -hmm. but it's a beautiful place. Yeah. Yeah, and it has iconic areas and locations to shoot. That's why we chose that place. We were very lucky to get uh, the Bailey Seton Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, they were, they made the whole premises available to us. They were very, <laughs> very accommodating, and we shot most of the film there, interior, exterior. Yeah. And um, we also shot in Jersey City, New Jersey, right across the river. Uh, yes got very lucky with the uh, the council of New Jersey that allowed us to shoot at the Jersey City City Hall. Oh. Another iconic building. So yeah. it's a lot of work to get those permits, but we got them. And also we <laughs> have a very, uh, very small frame of time where we could shoot between mm -hmm. the time that it gets less busy, but also that the sun is still there. <laughs> oh. So we it was, it was total race against, you know, sundown and uh, we planted actually very well it was one of the most effective what best planned because we knew that we had very little time and it, went, it ran very smoothly but it was a big challenge <laughs> what gave you what why, how did you come up with this idea of this film um well i was actually in a conversation with my father i was talking to him on the phone and he was telling me about um uh my at right now, my late great aunt, but at that time, well, at that time she was 102 years old. <laughs> wow. Yes, and she was uh, at a home, uh, uh, and um, he was going there to visit her, and she kept telling him about these parties that she was going to attend, where she was going to see her parents and her sister, and you know, at that age, you pretty much lost everybody that you know mm -hmm. that means any anything to you uh, from your generation. Um, so she had built this world in her mind, mm -hmm. and I was just really fascinated by just the mechanisms that the, the human mind has access to in order to cope with such grief. Mm -hmm. um, so in the middle of the conversation, I just, uh, an idea sparked into my mind, and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta make a movie about this. So. And that's how really brilliant films are made, and mm -hmm. oh. it's, it's, it's the inspiration, yes. I think. Um, what, how did you get hooked up with the Sedona International Film Festival? Well, I had heard great things about it for a while, and I just applied. <laughs> I submitted the film. So w when you got the call that you were accepted? Well, when I got the call, it was very unusual because usually you get um, an acceptance let, uh, email, you right. know? Right. So I was very uh, just thrown off, <laughs> but very impressed by that personal touch. I said this in another interview the other day, that just the fact that the festival director calls you it, is very... Uh, very special, very welcoming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was there when I that happened. I was, I was there, and she she gets a phone call. It's like I can't believe that the, the director of the festival called me. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> Usually get a letter or an email, generic. Right. You know. And how's it been since you've been here? It's amazing. Oof. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> it's incredible. It's a beautiful. Besides, um, I mean, your first inspir I came in very late in the night, and it was raining a few days ago, but. Um, you know, you wake up in the morning, <laughs> you 
you open the windows and you have this That's if you went to sleep to begin with. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, but then most people be here in bed at nine, so. <laughs> but that's the area. I mean, it's a beautiful place. But then the people, the way, the, just the friendly atmosphere and the, the politeness and the kindness. Mm -hmm. And it's not just from the organizers. It's from everybody. Correct. Everyone. We've, you know, we've been just going around and visiting and just everyone seems to be genuinely and naturally very, you know, open. Right. And so. we do call this, we have nicknamed it uh, the Filmmakers Festival. Yes. Right, yeah. I noticed that it's, yeah. uh, it's, it has the, the perfect balance because it's, it's, it focuses on filmmakers. We feel like royalty here. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you have a built-in audience because sometimes the, the f you know, the festivals that are geared toward filmmakers, then you have to also... Get your uh, audience built. Right. Yeah. And of course, we all, we all get our audience too, but, um, but the festival has a very... Um, very loyal audience mm -hmm. and very uh, an audience that's very interested in engaged. Yeah, yeah. with the, with the and you have so. already screened yes. once. And how yeah. was that? That's that was great, amazing. Yeah. That was we good. had a tell full me, house. Tell me about that. Um, yes. Well, when we t when they told us that our first screening was going to be at noon, we were a little concerned. We're like, oh, is anybody yeah. going to show up at <laughs> noon? It was a full house, and we yeah. hear that in this town, that's a big, big time for a screening. Yes. So, um, and the audience was great. They, um, I, I really enjoyed hearing the audience's reactions. They laughed on every cue, even though this is not a comedy, but it has some, you know, moments of humor. And um, every cue, I was like, yes, yes. Yeah, we got a little, not late into, you know, like people coming in into the theater, but. You know, we, we couldn't get seats on the back. Or oh, yeah, we were all the way in the, the first row front, because it was So we were looking at the, you know, the screen. <laughs> right. And, but, um, were yeah. there any good questions in that Q&A? Like, um, I think they were rushed a little for time, so we had um, some good questions from um, the interviewer. Yes. Yeah. But then she asked if people had questions, and I think in the, the, the very first moment when they asked, you know, people are a little shy, and then you have to kind of drag it out of them, but I don't think there was time for that. They had to get onto the feature. Okay. Uh, so uh, we didn't get um, many questions now from the audience, but um, I have to say the feature that we uh, played with is outstanding. We were very impressed and very honored to be paired with them. As I say, and the pairings here are really important. Yes. It's, amazing, <laughs> yeah. it's like a perfect match, matchmaking, film matchmaking. Isn't that amazing <laughs> how that works out? Yeah. I told the Denise directors yesterday, here are amazing. Yeah. I told Denise yesterday for I was lucky to be introduced to her. They told me that she was the one that, that worked on that and she does an amazing job. It's like these films were meant to be together, you know, like yeah. and I didn't know if, if that was part of how they choose the films or if first they choose the films and then they say, okay, how do we pair them together? I, however they do it, I it don't works. Know if, <laughs> if you are a good I don't know, good at playing puzzles. Right. When I do anything puzzle related, uh, words, whatever it is, I have a hard time putting things together. Uh, I guess I'll go through a process of, you know, elimination, mm -hmm. and then eventually have similar items, and then I start pairing them. I don't know how can they do something like that with films, because you, you watch a, a two-hour film, you gotta watch all the short films, and then pair them. How do you do it's that? It's magic. <laughs> They're all magic. <laughs> That's what we say. The whole team. They're just magic. Yeah, That's exactly got, uh, it. <laughs> I do want to open it up for some questions out here. Okay. Yeah. Elliot. So really high production values and stunning locations. How did you manage to raise the funds for that? Because that was uh, a large feat. And how did you bring on Sean Mayer as well? Okay, so yeah, how did you, you raise the money for the movie, and how did you bring on Sean Mayer? Okay, um, so raising the money for the movie, movie was, um, uh, it was interesting. It was a very time-consuming um, mm very time consuming process. It's a full time job. <laughs> um, we were lucky enough to uh, get accepted for um, a way of fundraiser, fundraising that has to do with, um, you know, it's a 501c3 because, you know, they judge your your project and if they feel it qualifies, people get tax deductions for, the, for their donations. So we did a, a crowdfunding, you know, um, campaign and then um, Not the traditional crowdfunding like Indiegogo or Kickstarter. We didn't do that. No, it was. It was the, uh, the I I I thing. had a hard time, uh, you know, spamming my friends and all of that. And as filmmakers, as independent filmmakers, you're you're forced to do that, you know, to doing that. But I did it a little bit. But then, um, you know, it was we got a significant amount of the of the budget raised that way. But the rest uh, is 
is now still being paid for. <laughs> and how did you get Sean Mayer involved? Um, so Sean Mayer, uh, which by the way uh, is such an honor to have had him in my film as well as June Squibb, um, it came through June Squibb. I have to talk about her first because that's how we got him on board. Um, I was uh, lucky enough to be able to meet June Squibb um, I don't know if any of you know her, she's amazing. Uh, she was nominated for an Academy Award for uh, her work in Nebraska. Um, I was stunned by her performance and um, I was very lucky to be able to approach her at a film festival where, um, you know, where another film of mine, a micro short, was playing. Um, and uh, once she said yes, um, he actually saw my casting call that I had done for that role. And his agent approached me, and uh, he said that, um, you know, he Sean had a very uh, particular appreciation for June's work, and he was interested in reading the script. So he read the script, and he liked it. And and I have to yeah. say, uh, both Sean and um, and June uh, basically donated her time, their time, you know, because they they love the script so much. So I'm beyond thankful, grateful, honored, you know, for that. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Romina, looking at your IMDb, you have a lot of diverse credits to your name. I mean, writer, director, actor, I saw some editing on there too. I mean, that's rare in general to see someone in the industry have that range, but oh, thank you. particularly for a woman. And I was wondering if you could talk about your experience like navigating the industry, especially in doing what you've been doing. Oh, thank you. So you have such a diverse uh, IMDb profile. Mm -hmm. What is it, uh, being a woman, how is that? Uh, well, uh, I came into filmmaking through acting. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it was a, a, a big, a long journey for me artistically. I started out as a dancer, as a ballet dancer. That's what brought me to this country mm -hmm. when I was 15 years old. <laughs> Um, and uh, I come from a family of artists. Uh, my mom is a, a director, actress, uh, very successful in Argentina. That's where I'm from, by the way. Um, and my father is, besides being an engineer, he's also a photographer, award-winning photographer. He uh, taught me a lot uh, of the stuff that I know about, uh, you know, just aesthetics when it comes to, uh, you know, photography. And um, I, I loved um, just visual storytelling in movies since I was a kid, but I didn't come to it until uh, I was, you know, after ballet, I started acting. I started, um, I, I pretty much went through singing, acting, all of it. And I loved acting. I love, act I still, I, I'm still an actress. <laughs> but um, at one point, I just, uh, I thought to myself, you know, you have, you know, more tools as an actor if you can also direct and mm -hmm. you can help your acting career by creating your own roles and my first motivation was that actually um, I wanted to um, you know I thought of a cool idea and I saw I said to myself you know I'm gonna get it made and I'm gonna just show this to agents and this and that and that was the my debut as a filmmaker I just loved it I it was a very successful that was the short actually through which I met June Squibb um, and uh, it just took me on a journey that was completely unexpected. I, I have to say I kind of stumbled into filmmaking, but but after I did it for the first time, I just, I knew that I, I wanted to keep doing it. You right. know, I started coming it's up with addiction. all these ideas. Yeah, and I was like, oh, now I want to do this and I want to do that. And, and what's ironic is that I, you know, the f my first motivation to get into filmmaking was, you know, to give myself these roles. And now that I can give myself these roles, the bigger the film gets, the smaller my f my role gets. <laughs> I'm not casting myself too much, but I want to be able to, you know, do what's Table. best for the film. And so for that, I feel that I need to have, you know, focus on every, you know, every aspect of filmmaking, which is, uh, you and know, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and where, so this, the visit, where can they find it on social media? Where can they find the two of you on social media and, and on the web? Um. Um, so, well, the we website for the visit is visitthefilm.com. Okay. And there you'll find all the links to, you know, IMDb, uh, um, you know, Facebook, but on Facebook is uh, the visit short. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, Twitter and Instagram, I'm just doing it through my personal account, which is my name, uh, Romina Schwedler. Okay. Twitter and actually, uh, Instagram is Romina Films, so there you have it. <laughs> okay. And what's up next for you? 
Well, um, <clears throat> let's see. I'm doing a lot of fashion videos lately. Okay. So I'm just between commercial stuff and narrative, but in the in the short term, is it's been a lot of a lot of like fashion related stuff. Wonderful. And that seems to be my uh, my short term thing right now going on in New York. But who knows what's gonna happen a few months from? Actually, we are probably we might be working on on a feature yeah. or a couple of them probably Wonderful. in the short or midterm. Well, and I hope you bring it here to the, the Set Out yeah, International yeah. Film Festival yeah. when you get finished with that. That would be great. Yes, thank you. Um, I'm, uh, we're working on, well, my first feature right now, like about to start pre-production on that, so that's extremely exciting to me, and it's yeah, I would, I would love to bring it here. <laughs> well, we would yeah. love to have you back. We really do like it when people come back again to the family. <laughs> oh, thank yes. you, yeah. And thank you for amazing. sitting here with us today, and we really appreciate you, and enjoy Sedona, and, and we'll see you when you come back. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you very All much. Right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. We have some more interviews lined up this afternoon.